Hi guys, today we'll check if this 2015 Golf Diesel will be able to run on fuels that it's not designed for. And what I mean by fuels, I have some vegetable oil here, I have some used engine oil, and I have WD-40. Previously I made a video with a small Caterpillar engine uh, where I was testing its ability to run on different oils, vegetable oils, and uh, it ran just fine. Surprisingly, it didn't appear that it was actually struggling. A lot of people in the comments mentioned that these fuels will only work good in a older mechanically injected diesel engines, and it will not work on a modern direct injected diesels, which this car is. And uh, I'm gonna put that to the test and uh, we'll see if it will run or if it will ruin this car. Like I said, this is 2015 uh, Golf TDI. It's one of the last cars that were sold here in US before the diesel gate. And this diesel is designed to run with this AdBlue additive. This is supposed to make it more eco-friendly and uh, I'm not sure how well it will cooperate with uh, something else other than a diesel but uh, we'll check it but before we put oil into this engine i just wanted to measure its performance and uh, compare zero to 60 results on regular diesel fuel versus this oils and see if the engine performance will significantly decrease or increase It is worth mentioning that this engine is pretty cold right now and it takes a while for it to warm up so I'm gonna do my tests not all the way to operating temperature uh, which is probably not very scientific but uh, that's what I have anyways. Actually not that bad for a diesel. I'll probably hook up my fuel lines to one of this. Made a little jig here. I'm gonna disconnect the original fuel pump which is in the tank. So I have a fuel pump over here that's supposed to circulate the diesel and I have the switch so I'm able to shut it off if something goes wrong. This is a take. This is a return. Oh, there we go. And it's supposed to create enough pressure for this engine to run. So now I have to route these lines all the way into the engine bay. So I'm gonna disconnect this. Get under it somehow. That's tough. Come on! So this is the return line. I'm gonna turn the ignition on and you'll tell me if there will be fuel coming out of here. Now the fuse is in, so I expect there will be something pouring out of this hose. Yes! Fuel pump control module, F10. Disconnected. All good. If you're long enough, this will be long enough. We have to test it, make sure we got good flow for this thing to start. I'm turning it on. Houston, we got a problem. Okay, but that's good. We have good pressure. We got a problem in our transition tube here. Everything's still connected. Turning this on. Oh. Pumping air. I don't have more diesel in the can, so I'm gonna add some heating oil, which is essentially the same thing. I don't know why this is so white. Look, look, it's like milk coming out of it. Now we got pump in action. I'm not gonna give it a try and start it. Ready? 
Yep. Looks like it's running fine. So right now it is running on heating oil, which is the same diesel fuel, but with the red dye in it. And it runs just fine, which I expected it to. I'm gonna give it a spin to make sure it still works under load. And then we'll try it in something else, like uh, vegetable oil. Man, this thing is noisy. But we're going good. So far, no problem. Yeah, accelerates just like usual. problems. We got some rain action going on so we'll have to wait a bit and then we'll continue on. Uh, the first one we're going to try here will be our old friend vegetable oil. I'm gonna swap this uh, heating oil with the vegetable oil. Put it in there and drain the remaining heating oil out of the system before we continue okay so it goes in here I'm gonna turn it on and uh, I'm gonna keep it on until I see pure oil coming out of this pipe it looks like a vegetable oil now it looks different I'm gonna turn it off Put it right in there. And start. Starts no problem. Get some bubbles. Or some new noise. Is it all good there? Everything seem all right. Seem to be working pretty good. All right. I don't like the sound of it. There we go. That's off. I think this is pinched too much. The supply line was pretty well pinched. Maybe even this line. Maybe we can route them here somehow. Yeah, it seems to be flowing much better now. Okay, let's start it up. There we go. Oh no. Let's try it again. I have a suspicion that we might not be building enough pressure for it to start. Let me try it again to see if it was a pinch problem. So I think this experiment is not a success. But I think this is because the oil is too thick. If we'll try WD-40, it's, it's much thinner. So I think it might work on WD-40. I think the people were right. It's not gonna work on oil. So I bet this pump is, it's not creating good enough pressure for this thick oil to actually pump it through the injectors. Although it starts, it just doesn't seem to be running that well. But WD-40 appears to be much thinner it's very similar to the diesel fuel, so I think it might be able to run on it. I will drain the most of the oil out of it. Yeah, this is like almost clear, but it looks more like milkyish. I don't know if we'll be able to see the difference at all, unless we'll see this milkyish. 
substance coming back. Yeah, that's probably good. WD-40 dripping all over. So now we should have your WD-40. I'm gonna turn it on and start it up. Now, I think what we can do, we'll try to start it up on diesel fuel again. And then once it's running, we'll try to swap it back and run it with WD-40 and see if it will run that way. Come on. Oh, oh well, the pump is off. Okay. battery have to put it on the charger and then we'll try it again but it looks like uh, we got a lot of oil probably in the injector lines so now it doesn't want to start anymore but that's okay we'll get it fixed uh, my theory is uh, I think because it starts up runs for like three seconds or so and then shuts off I think what may be happening is computer tries to reduce the amount of fuel when it reduces that amount of fuel, injectors open for only that much and it's probably not enough oil goes in there because of the thickness of the oil itself. And uh, what I'm going to try to do, I'm going to start it so many times to just purge these uh, injectors and hopefully uh, that will help. Otherwise, the plan B will be to, plan B will be to remove this, the entire fuel rail, disconnect the injectors and uh, move as much fuel as I can just to clear out the lines. I, uh, I think I'm gonna undo this one last injector in this fuel rail and I'm gonna try to take a little bit of that oil out of the fuel rail to speed up the process. Uh, this is now open. Go ahead and turn the pump on. We'll see if something will come up. Oh, turn it off, turn it off! So we got something coming out. It definitely doesn't look like it has a red dye to it. So it's probably still a vegetable oil in there. So we might have to drain a bit more out of there. Now the oil is everywhere. That's okay. Oh yeah, I'm starting to see the red dye. Turn it off! I think we might be good at this point. Now that's up to factory specs. The pump is on. We have nothing leaking here. So I'm gonna try to start it. Let's give it another try. I think we have it running finally. I should be able to switch it over to WD-40 and in theory it should run. Well, I'm gonna do it real quick, I think. I'm gonna turn it off for a second. And turn it back on. Hopefully, it won't shut off. It's still running fine. Now I'll have to switch it back here once I see the WD-40 coming out. So it's still red. Man, we're running out of space in this can. And it's still red. But it's becoming a bit more whitish. I think, yeah, we're good now. Okay. All right, so now it's WD-40 all the way through. And it's still running so far. I don't see any problems yet, but let it soak in some of this WD-40. Once it gets to the injectors, that's gonna be a real test. Last time it shut off within probably like 30 seconds. 
So I assume that's how long it takes for the fuel to come from the pump all the way to the injectors. So it's been about a few minutes and it's still running on WD-40. All right, I'm gonna shut it off now and then we'll, we'll start it up again on pure WD-40. Hopefully, it's gonna start back up. And there you go. Come on. Nope. Oh. Pump was off. I keep forgetting. But it started up. No problem once I turn the pump on. Okay, so it runs fine, it starts fine. I think we're ready to give it a try at zero to 60. WD-40, huh? Okay, so we're running on WD-40. Hey, it's pretty responsive. And let's go. Uh, we obviously got check engine light here came on but that's expected I think it it doesn't like the fact that I disconnected the fuel pump module the only downside my hands are pretty well lubricated by this WD-40 and I can't wipe them off enough yeah I'm actually very impressed that it runs on WD-40 so the only problem that I think it has with the vegetable oil is the fact that it's too thick now let's give it a shot at 0 to 60 oh yeah it spins the wheels so with this contraption and a fuel pump running it actually runs pretty good. We got everything soaked here, WD-40 probably. Well, that's a good thing. It's never gonna rust, right? Oh, you wanna wipe it off? <laughs> no, I wouldn't do that. There's some spinning parts over there. This distinct WD-40 smell. But that's probably because a lot of it just penetrated through all this poses which it's that's what it's supposed to do right it's WD-40 it's penetration oil so so if in a pinch and all you got is WD-40 with you just connect it to your fuel lines and in theory run it normally but uh, vegetable oil no nope. because it didn't work with vegetable oil I'm not even gonna try the used motor oil because it's even thicker than the vegetable oil that I got so it's probably gonna be no luck there anyways and uh, if you have something to suggest put it in the comments I'll try it off until then stay curious keep exploring see you later guys so if you ever wondered what this big WD-40 cans are for that's what it's for <laughs>